Another distinction is often when you go to auditors, you might associate it with looking for fraud. Um, our audit, we're hired as the financial statement auditors for the district. The goal of our audit is to be confidence and assurance over the dollar amounts. It's not a search for fraud. Um, during the course of performing our audit, if we believe there to be any material or significant dollar amounts that indicate fraud, we report them to the group, but we have not encountered them as victims. Um, also, second from the bottom, the last one I want to highlight before we get into the dollars is independence. Um, users of the district's financial statements, the residents in the crowd here, banks, granting agencies, federal government, if they're going to rely on the financial statements um, and we're providing the opinion that's given them that assurance over the financial statements, it's critical that we're independent from the district. Um, we can't have any conflicts of interest to create a bias or anything like that. And so myself, Charles, and our whole audit team, we examine our relationships with individuals at the district to make sure that we're doing the correct objective position to serve as your auditors and to see that we can get in that position. As far as uh, analytical trends, we like to complete our presentation with some of the athletics for the last five years of life with revenues and expenditures have uh, fared over, over this, this five year period. So, um, really, before we get into it, the, the really the last known normal year for the predictability of the school closures of the pandemic was first coming up to the back 2018 2019 fiscal year. Very revenue is expansion, almost both even. And then looking ahead to 2020, 2021, 2023, we've seen revenues gradually increase with 2022 and 2023 seats, a larger increase than normal. And you've seen the unpredictability in the spending over the course of like five years. At the end of the quarter, this thing went under the 2023, the fire right portion. The revenues were exceeded expenditures by $11.3 million, um, which was the result of increased state aid that the district was seeing, not only Lancaster School District, but all of the real estate school districts have seen some predictable increase in it. Um, state aid that historically we were fortunate enough to just get the food budget for so what time increases there. Um, as well as increases in anticipated sales tax that continue to be higher than the budget, um, and flat to this dramatic growth. There is going to be increased this year compared to current years. Um, also included in the increase of revenues was increase in interest earnings of $1.7 million. Um, and on the spending expenditure side of things, our spending went up by $3 million for the prior year, $1.6 million of that went that service that was recently, um, some bonds that were recently issued between the principal and interest and regular inflation and cost of providing services for transportation and construction of the public system. So about that $11.3 million increase in the balance. As you can see here, it was like the balance went up about um, $8.7 million from the $4.9 million last year. Six to thirteen point six million dollars this year. That represents about ten point four percent of your next year's budget. We show this chart because school districts in the state are subject to the property tax law section three two fifteen, which requires district to maintain up to four percent of the outside fund balance and it exceeds the monthly plan in place to spend down in the future years. And as we saw in 2019-2020, from zero pandemic, you exceed the 4% there, and the families would be placed to transfer that additional funding to those new projects in the future. And again, 2022 2023 per year, you exceed that amount in 10 to 4%. But that $8 million increase there has been planned to pay down some future debt, resulting in future savings. The remaining increase in fund balance. $2.6 million this year was added to a red column here. Those are your fund balance reserves, your capital projects, your bus reserves, your retirement reserves, your benefits reserves. 
I think Mr. Taylor is going to be going. Mr. Sager already is showing that off. Um, so our students in private lead the way, did the electronics on these, did the etchings on them, built them for you, uh, and uh, you know, engraved names on them and the position on the board. So I'd like to also thank the project lead the way students um, and their teachers as well for the work that they've done. But again, we just want to thank you for the work that you do and the sacrifices that you make and the time you take away from your families to make sure that Lancaster is the family's service to the families. Thank you. so much, uh, especially to the students who came here today uh, to give these to us. I, I think we will all treasure these forever. Um, parents, please um, you know, feel free to, to leave now. I know it's not going to be late, but uh, I do think the kids maybe deserve some ice cream. Ms. Kershawski is a talented teacher that's kind of starting a technical. 
She will make great teaching contributions to that people for her life being great.
moving on to 5.0 correspondence. We have a little different correspondence to know. 6.0 approval of minutes. I have a motion on 6.1, the regular session from September 18th, 2023. Any comments or questions? All those in favor? Anyone against? Motion carries. 7.0, items from staff organizations. Anyone from the Lancaster Administrative and Supervisory Association? Good evening. On behalf of LASA, our supervisors, principals, our assistant principals, it is truly an honor to say thank you. First and foremost, again, our kids come first, and that has always been number one with all of you. We have served you, many of us, you know, as parents, and your own children coming to our school, and, and collectively together, teachers, administration, also part of the Board of Education, and kids first. So, on behalf of LASA, you know, we speak for our community, thank you so much for all that you do. And you continue to do in the opportunity to so Thank you so much. And again, we appreciate it. We really certainly appreciate you. So thank you. Thank you. So, <laughs> anyone from the Lancaster Central Teachers Association? Yep, thank you. Um, just to follow what Jackie was saying again, the LCT would also like to you know, thank the board for their dedication and their service. Um, you get elected to your office, you listen to people, you, you know, you look the bad, the ugly, and you do it all for free. So, um, we just want to take a moment and, and congratulate and thank you for your time and your service. And we would also just like to take a moment and congratulate our five uh, newly tenured teachers. Thank you. Anyone from the Lancaster Association of Service Personnel? And anyone from the Lancaster Association of Substitute Teachers? Well, uh, thank you to both Mrs. Bloomberg and Mr. Ingram. Uh, I think I speak for everyone when we say you know, it's truly a pleasure to do this, this role. Uh, and to, you know, I don't want to speak for everyone. But it really is easy to do this at Lancaster because everyone is just so pretty good and great teachers, great administration, great staff. Uh, so it really does make it easy to say just two things. Thank you again for being here. On to 8.0 board reports. Do any board members have anything to report? I just want to say this is amazing. Thank you so much, Mr. Bear. I was in the first class of Project Lead Away, and we did not have to eat. This is really, this is awesome. I'm so excited. I cannot, I, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I might just carry it with me. Plug it in at meetings and here, wherever I go. Um, but thank you so much. This is just, I'm just so excited about it. Um, I just also wanted to thank um, Coach Cook who is um, so graciously, again, helping us um, this week doing a Coaches vs. Cancer game on Friday. Our district is so giving and so generous in so many ways, and I don't think that we promote it enough how much we help other organizations. And I'm so excited to be working with him this weekend in um, getting some funds raised for the American Cancer Society. And the LCTA is also having a team and making strides against breast cancer this week. Um, it's really great to see, especially in October this month, for um, breast cancer awareness and seeing our school district really help in so many different ways. So, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Schreffer. I, um, first of all, thanks again. I will be taking this with me everywhere I have a laptop before I get this week. So thank you for that. Um, I got to attend uh, our open house at the high school, which was, uh, I won't stop sort of saying exciting now that both my daughters are in high school, which is so impressive. Um, but it was, um, it was fantastic. I do not do well with all the instructions, and we had enough students there that were just absolutely fantastic. They were absolutely fantastic. So it was a really wonderful experience um, to, to go through that. 